Hey guys, hey, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I uploaded a vlog um, and it was mostly because I was traveling, I was going to Tulum, I was with my friends and I kind of just wanted to take a little break. Also, there wasn't anything like that fun happening besides Tulum. But yeah, it was like a really nice break from YouTube but now I'm ready to do a Mexico City vlog. My friend is here from Dallas so we're gonna do a lot, a lot of fun stuff this week. So I'm actually very, very excited for that. Also, I am running on like four hours of sleep right now so that's why if you see me a little dead today that's literally the reason why we're in La Condesa we're trying out this new restaurant that um, Akia sent me and yeah we're gonna do all the fun things in Mexico City before I head back to Dallas so let's go Right, guys so this is the restaurant Akia over here taking taking selfies yes queen it is called Canopia and apparently they have a brunch on the weekends as you guys can see it's actually really aesthetic in here it's very cute hola okay the vibes in here are really cool it feels Tulumish but also like I get a little bit of like Oaxaca feel in here. Oh, hey friend. <laughs> Guys, this is such a cute place. Okay, so this is kind of the outside patio. We decided to sit out here. We're deciding on what we're eating. So if you watch my last vlog, we actually went to this restaurant here with my friend Christy and it was really, really good. I got this like lengua bagel and it was amazing. But both of these restaurants are super chill. Like. I mean, there's no one here. It's very peaceful and quiet, so I definitely would recommend coming here. Anyway, so we are having brunch, and then we are we don't really have plans for the rest of the day. What do you want to do? Turn up. <laughs> what time did you wake up? Oh, Four, dude, guys, it was three, hilarious. Three, so she asked me for my grandparents' address because she was meeting me there. So at like, what time? It was, it was like it 5 a.m. Like at like 5 a.m. She's like, hey, what's the address? And I text it to her and she's like, why are you awake? And I was like, dude, I just got home from the club. I actually laughed out loud. <laughs> my friend was like, is this the same time zone? Is Mexico, uh, it's here? And I was like, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Guys, it got a little too turnt yesterday, but it was really fun. Anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna have energy for the whole day, but I will power through because I'm not missing out. Nah, another club. Club, another club, bus. <laughs> no sleep. No sleep, another club. So our food came out. This is like a Oaxaca dish. And then she got like the smoked Marlin burrito. And then she got a passion fruit mimosa. That actually looks really good. I'm excited about it. Yes. I'm missing some. I'm, you're like, I'm, I'm missing a lot of champagne in here. Like, where's the rest of it? <laughs> Tell us your thoughts. What did you think? It was good. I've actually never had a burrito with fish in it. Yeah. I also don't think I've had Marlin before, so that's cool. Oh, really? I don't know that I, like, loved it. Like, I actually, I mean, I would recommend I maybe getting, like, a coffee, hang out, taking some pics here. But, like the, like, the menu was, like, really, really small. And, like, it just wasn't... It just wasn't what I wanted, you know what I mean? So yeah, come for the vibes. I actually recommend that restaurant a lot more. It's actually way better. They have actually really good food, so there's that. Okay, now we are figuring out what we're gonna do next, so stay tuned. So we ended up at La Ventana, which is also Ticuchi. I've been here before, it's really cool. So basically, I think you, I haven't actually eaten here, but I'm sure the food is amazing. You know, you can see how they're making everything, the tortillas and whatnot. It's just a really cute spot, but let me show you guys the back. This is like the speakeasy in the back and it's a bar i definitely definitely recommend coming here especially if you like mezcal this is like actually the place to come it's so cool at night and then as you guys can see it has this cool hanging plant here so yeah definitely somewhere to come
Hey guys, good morning. So actually, no, it's still morning, yeah. So yesterday we were really, really tired. So we kind of just ended up going home and ordering some food. So nothing like that eventful. But today is Monday, it is July 5th and we are headed to breakfast well breakfast lunch and after that i'm gonna That's take brunch. yeah brunch <laughs> can you but do you brunch no, on the weekdays now right yeah, but yeah. It's a holiday, it's yeah. it is a holiday hello america <laughs> um so i'm taking her to make and it is a breakfast spot they have amazing pastries definitely recommend for anyone to go there it's really really good and then from there we're gonna go to antara and do a little shopping and then we'll see where the day takes us those are kind of like our main things that we're gonna do today and then trying to see if we like meet up my other friends so we'll see are you ready so ready right. listos ah, dude your spanish is actually kind of good okay. like you know a lot so it is san antonio Oh, you're right, you're right. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are on our way to breakfast, but we decided to stop by the Mexico, what does it say? Mexico Mi Amor sign because it's literally on the street where we're having breakfast. So if you guys don't know, it is located in Masarik. Actually, it's in one of my other vlogs, but yeah, it's by this store called Tang. I think it's a watch store. Um, so you guys can come and take pics. Obviously, everyone comes and takes pics here. So definitely a cute little spot. But yeah, I think our breakfast spot is over there. So we have arrived to the breakfast spot. We're having a little breakfast out here in the patio. We got a green juice, okay. And I really want some of those uh, bakery stuff. Bakery stuff, what are they called? Bread. Bread. <laughs> They're very, very delicious here. So like if you like pastries, I 100% recommend coming here. But yeah, so excited to try it. We also ordered, right, our food already? Yeah. Okay, cool. Wait, what did you get? The croissant? I got the croissant de amor the y manchego. Yes. And then I got huevos motuleños because I like plantains. So, mm, I'm excited. Okay, so this is the eggs. My eggs here. And then her croissant. Yum. This looks good. It smells really good too. All right, so we finished breakfast. Like, what were your thoughts? Like, your real thoughts? <laughs> it was good. It was a lot of bread. I should have got something a little white. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, so we made it to Antara. So this is where this cool, like, newspaper magazine type of thing is and then the mall is like obviously right there but we're gonna take some pictures here because i think it's so dope it used to just be white with the lights but now i guess like they changed it up and added the stuff so it looks really really cool so definitely come here for pics three hours later all right guys so we're home we did a little damage now you <laughs> shopping like i have room to put this <laughs> We've arrived back home. I look a hot mess. We are gonna get ready and then we are headed out to dinner at La Docena. She really, so you really manifested this dinner. Ah. Basically, yesterday we passed by La Docena and Akia was like, oh my God, they have oysters. We should go there. I love oysters. No, actually, that. I said that and then you were like, that place is actually really good. And I was yeah, like, that's say less. <laughs> yeah, so like our friend, our family friend like loves that place so he took us and it's actually really amazing. I'm so glad that we got to come back home though before dinner because I just feel so gross and the pollution is bad and so as soon as I hit the streets, I feel dirty. So I'm glad that I, we're back, we're gonna change, we're gonna get ready and then we'll head to dinner and then I'll be a lot more comfortable, so. Very excited y'all, I got a lot of stuff for Greece. So I'll definitely try to do a haul when I get back to Dallas. Yeah, so many fun, exciting things happening. So we got ready. We are ready for round two. I'm wearing my, one second, I'm wearing my mezcalero boots, leggings, and this top that I got a few weeks ago. I'm excited. I'm actually very hungry, so very excited for dinner. La Docena basically is like fresh seafood and it's just like a whole bunch of seafood it's really really good so i'm excited to go and yeah we're gonna head out in a bit me and peppa have arrived so they have a little patio outside but it's raining so obviously they cover it they also have heaters which is really nice and then um we're waiting on my mom
So this is, I don't know, agua chile, but ceviche. Este es ceviche peruano. Oh, Peruvian ceviche. It's very, very good. So this is a clam, and then we got oysters. Looks very yummy. Ah, okay, we eating good tonight. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Mm. The taste of the ocean. Okay, guys. Ooh, I'm looking a little shiny. So here is our octopus. Ooh, it's a full octopus. Yum. If you did not know, and maybe you're new to my channel, new to my Instagram, I live for a good octopus. If they have it somewhere, I'm ordering it. I I just love octopus. Like, okay, so we got some shrimp, and then we got the octopus. Guys, so good, so good, so good, so good. So good. <laughs> All right, guys, we really killed that dinner. Are you full? Very. <laughs> Wait, estoy llena. llena. There you go. No estoy so I, I was telling her how Pero funny. Estoy llena. llena. No ballena. No I was telling her that it's so funny that like if you say like I'm full, it's estoy llena. But also whale means ballena. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought of that. I thought it was funny. <laughs> I really did. I just thought about that. We came to the location in. Um, there's a few other locations. I've been to one other location and it wasn't that fun. It, it wasn't my favorite. Um, no. We saw the other day when we were driving by. Yeah, that was different. I would recommend coming to this location just because I like it. It's very um, poppin, very cool, good music, very hip. I feel like the other locations are a little bit more like older people. Um, but yeah. We had get the oysters. Get the oysters. Get the, the octopus was amazing. I could have ate that whole octopus by myself because I love octopus. Like, like the shrimp were like this the big. size of your hand. <laughs> literally, no, literally, literally, literally. Tomorrow we are going to tell them Casa uh, Barra, uh, Barragan. Barra? Luis Barragan. We are going to the Barragan house which I've never been to so I'm very excited about that. You do have to get tickets for that. Um, but they're very cheap. Yeah. So if you're Mexican, aka me, it's 15, I could have lied. Though. 15 bucks. Like, how are they gonna check? You paid in advance. 15 bucks. If you're, you know, a tourist, a 20. U.S. citizen, twenty dollars. So five dollar difference. <laughs> and yeah, Museo Sumaya is actually free, so you can always go there. Humex Museum, I think, I believe is also free and it's like literally right next to it, so you could do it all. Oh, we're going to Casa Organica on Wednesday. I'm very Such excited. Such a vibe, aesthetics. Never been, looks like you're in a fairy tale. So we're going there Wednesday before I head out to the airport, so. But if you're gonna get tickets for that, would recommend doing it well in advance because they were booked until Apparently August. Apparently very booked. Yeah. We were blessed. <laughs> yeah, we got like a last minute res. So, all right guys, my see bliss. you soon. So we're back home, cleaned my face, ready for bed. That wine really hit me. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow we're going to take our COVID test because I leave on Wednesday and we're gonna go to the Bargon house and then that's basically like our main event and then we're gonna see what else we can fit in there. But today was actually really fun. I got to see uh, my friends and just hang out with like people I really love and yeah, I'm excited. So we'll see what tomorrow has in store, but for right now, good night. Another day um, out and about in the city, so Today, um, we had a pretty slow morning, woke up kind of late-ish, had some tamales. Were they good? Did you like them? Yeah. <laughs> they were like gourmet tamales. Um, then we got ready at my grandma's house and my mom brought us over here to um, Luis Barragan, the house, the studio that we're going to. However, we did want to go to Casa, I think it's Giraldi, um, before 
um, we go to the other place. We kind of just wanted to check it out. I don't think we could get reservations or I think we had to call to make reservations, which we ended up not doing. Um, so we're here <laughs> outside. <laughs> and this is what it looks like from the outside it's a pink house blue um, I'm sure it's very big on the inside lots of photo ops inside but we kind of just want to see I don't know if we can even maybe knock on the door and ask if about reservations but here we're going to the actual uh, studio the bargain house where we actually bought tickets for so I'm excited I mean it's really cute out here it's um, a little bit more it's like on the other side of the castle of Chapultepec so it's a little farther down and yeah there's not really much around here besides like these houses to visit so yeah I'm excited I guess we'll see what it looks like when we go over there we got lost for a while there we from Garaldi we walked to the Bargon house don't recommend it because it's um, actually a little sketch to get here we're a little hot but we made it um, it's actually kind of difficult to find it so I definitely would just say like have someone drop you off literally at the house that's the house um, but our reservation I think we still have 10 minutes to go so they said we could visit their little little uh what is this called little garden area um it's pretty cool um, a key is in the restroom so i'll wait for her and then we'll go in there so it's kind of hot but we made it we literally were walking on the freeways well me with heels and this like freaking dress everyone was staring so definitely do not recommend walking unless you're like coming super comfy all right guys so we're finished with the tour it was like an hour or so long and we were not able to film um, because I guess you have to pay $25 per device. And I was like, we're not gonna do that. We're, we'll just pay one device and then try to get as much content on there. So yeah, I just didn't feel like paying. I don't even think you could film. I think maybe it was just more can't, like photography, but it was very interesting. Like the house is really cool. Um, it is like a guided tour which was a little annoying for us just because we wanted to like take pictures and kind of you kind of can't do your own thing and take pictures whenever you kind of just have to go with the group but we still got some cute pics hopefully um it was actually really informative i really liked learning about luis barragan so you know that's definitely a, a con a pro a pro right a pro a pro the con um, was that you had to pay the con, for yeah, the per device, per device, per device, and that we had six people in our group, so and it's so small, like the spaces. Yeah, are the small. spaces are small, so, so like, you have to wait for people to get out the way. Right, the so it is a little bit crowded. So I guess I would just take that stuff into consideration if you want to come. Also, it is like literally very secluded from anything else. So currently, we're waiting for our Uber, and then we're gonna go to a rooftop. I actually haven't gone to any rooftops here in Mexico City, so this is big for me. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to a rooftop called citizen that my mom recommended and we're probably gonna eat there and have drinks and all the fun things so that's it for now let's head on over made it to I think it's called the Sofitel hotel and uh, this is what it looks like so you basically pull up in here and then we're gonna go to the rooftop so let's go we come out of this elevator Okay. Then we're gonna take another elevator, and that elevator is gonna take us to the 38th floor. Oh. So it is very high up there. Yes. A vibe. A vibe. I'm very hungry, so I hope we can get some cocktails and good food. And then we're gonna see if we get some tacos tonight, because that sounds really good, so. 38th floor, here we go. Cool. All right, so we are waiting for our table, but this is basically how high, oh, sorry, boo. Wow. So this is the bar. This is the place. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought. So the cocktails have arrived. That looks really good. Akia taking a picture of her cocktail out there. But guys, it's literally cool views out here. Real nice. So we ordered a tiradito. And we're gonna try it and see if it's good. But so far, their drinks are really delicious. Two thousand years later. 
All right, guys, so after we went to the Citizen Rooftop, which genuinely she recommended it, that place is not good. Do not go. The food was not good. The cocktails were all right. Go for the drink. Yeah, the cocktails were all right, but I do feel like there's other rooftops that are probably better. So, really? Yeah, and it was expensive, so generally do not recommend going there like don't go out of your way to go there well it took us literally i think like an hour to get home and technically it's like only 15 minutes away there's a lot of traffic it's raining so definitely like during the rain try not to go and rush hour try not to like go anywhere because it's bad all right so now we are um what are we doing what are we doing we are getting tacos we're starving we really haven't ate anything besides tamales in the morning and, and like that guac small guac like yeah that 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 little seafood thing and guac so we're gonna go to tacos which is my one of my favorite taco spots here in mexico city it's also in one of my other vlogs um love this place they have so many salsas they have so many options so many things you can choose from so really 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 like this place side note i was supposed to leave today is tuesday by the time you watch it it will be friday but technically i'm supposed to leave to dallas tomorrow wednesday but i ended up canceling my flight because the only reason i was going was to get my hair done on the 9th and now my hairstylist canceled because he has a funeral so now there was really no point in me going to Dallas so soon. That's it. So basically, we could have gone to Cabo this whole time. And our so, but technically, now so I could go. Place. Wait, technically, <laughs> technically. <Hi. laughs> you do scream. Uh, but technically, bro, now I really, if it's a cheap flight, I really could go to Cabo. Like, actually, no joke. <laughs> that was the original plan. Like, actually. Oh, wait, no, I can't because you're going to go to your bachelorette. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Never mind. I already have my flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But technically, I still could go, and I'll just go do my own thing. Good. And that was the original plan. That was the original plan. <sighs> also, don't mind this little. Wow, I look crazy. <laughs> I was so cold. Yeah, the temperature really drops here. Like, we were sweating earlier today, walking oh around trying to find the house, so and now it's like freezing. So, <sighs> make sure you're prepared. But yeah, guys, so much happening. Um, I'll fill you in in another video, but these upcoming trips are not looking so great for me, and it's actually a little sad, but I feel like things work out for the best, so like, I won't be sad if anything cancels or anything like that, because then something better will come. So yeah, we're stuck in traffic again. <laughs> And we are headed to Tacos El Fogón. We have arrived. Al Pastor Carmen. Something, something, something. Um, el trompo no está. Oh, sí está? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Okay. Trompo. Mm -hmm. And that's where, where it is, guys. So I got Al Pastor on a flour tortilla. I got tripa, my fave. Molleja. Aquí I got pastor, trompa, suadero. My mom is preparing the onions and she got one al pastor taco. Cause she ate this morning and she's really full. <laughs> yeah, she's still full from dinner. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another day. Last night we were so tired. We were over the traffic, but we got our tacos, came home, rested. Today is another day. We are going to Casa Organica. I'm very excited because I won't be like rushed um, Because after that I was gonna head over to the airport But since I canceled my flight yesterday to Dallas, I get to stay and probably hang out and like do some other stuff So I'm excited. Sorry. I'm like running out of breath. I like had to run up here because I forgot my vlogging camera. Okay So this is my outfit that I'm very excited about because I feel like it's the like very much so the vibes of the house my shoes very excited but i'm like literally obsessed with this outfit love we have arrived this is what the outside of the house looks like we're ready <laughs> peppa i don't think she's coming with so it's not really far it's actually pretty easy i mean if you just follow the directions um there wasn't any traffic today so that's good one through ten how excited are you 
11. <laughs> Guys, this is <laughs> Okay, guys. Ooh, this is a little photo booth. <gasps> Stop, guys. I can't. Is this real life? Because I generally can't right now. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> I actually want to live here. Like, I actually want my mom to make my house look like that. Who's that here? This was the closet. Guys, this was like his bathtub. Guys, this is so cool. They have little seashells in here. The outside through here. Mm -hmm. There's more stairs. Do we go upstairs more? Oh. oh my god, the desk. Oh my god. Okay, guys. So this is like the backyard, the outside. Um, it has a slide, which I really <laughs> want to go on, but I doubt that I would can because I have leather. Um, Akia's out here taking pics. It has such a cool view. And then the colorful things are over there. Um, yeah, and you can see the city. All right, guys, so we are back. We had lunch. Um, it was pretty good. Actually, we were rushing um, because my mom wanted to get home before the traffic, so I ended up having to take my food to go. But um Casa Organica was really really fun I actually do recommend that um I liked it because we obviously just paid for the ticket to go in and we could take all the pics that we wanted as opposed to the Bargon house where you have to pay for your entrance then pay per device used so that was like a little obnoxious but overall like that was more of a vibe I feel like there was better lighting also I mean of course if you're just going to like tour and like actually learn and be cultured then obviously doesn't matter but if you're there to take pics that is like the place um you are a little bit like rushed because you're with like a tour guide and you have to like stay in the same room and there's people in your way so that's like a little you know a little con um but overall it was really cool so yeah we're back home I don't know what we're gonna end up doing tomorrow or if i'm even gonna have energy to go out like i'm actually very happy that like there's nothing planned tomorrow because I even want to I wanted to cancel today not gonna lie because like sometimes I just don't have enough brain power to get through some things but I did it any, anyway and I'm glad I did because it was actually really fun but um yeah we'll see what we end up doing tomorrow and yeah check out my tiktoks because I'm gonna post everything that we did um during the week so that's it Hey guys, so today is Thursday. I just woke up from a nap. I'm so tired. Pretty much was um, editing the vlog today, but we're finishing up. I wanted to add one more thing in there. I'm gonna go to this restaurant tonight for dinner with my friends. Unfortunately, I won't be able to meet up at Kia anymore um, just because she's kind of far from where I am. But hopefully tomorrow I get to um, hang out with my friend Cynthia before they head out back to Dallas. Love her so much. So I really wanna go see her um, and maybe like have lunch with her. So we're going to Carajillo. There's actually one in Masarik. I really recommend, I've never been to that one, but like it just looks really, really cool. And I was looking at their Insta and their food and their drinks 
looks so good, especially if you like carajillos. So I'm gonna go today and try it out. Now, as far as grease goes, that is canceled and it is a little bit disheartening, but honestly, I felt that it wasn't going in a direction that I really wanted to go. I mean, we were only kind of a, a few days, like two weeks away. We didn't have anything planned as far as like, well, we didn't have anything booked. We, have, we had everything planned where we were going, but nothing booked. So that was a little bit stressful on me, but a few weeks ago, like my friend said that she could not make it anymore because her dog passed away and then she had a lot of like troubles within that week. Like she lost her passport could not get it so she canceled her trip first and then my other friend Mona and I were still gonna go but then um, two days ago my friend texted me telling me that her friend was gonna go to Greece and they canceled the flights so I have no idea like I don't know if it's regarding to COVID or just because like it's the airlines are understaffed but I kind of just took that as a sign to just go a different time because it was just too much and then Mona said that her dog also might need surgery so it was just kind of a lot so I just wanted to keep you guys updated instead we are gonna go to Carmel at the end of the month which I'm really excited about if you've watched Big Little Lies ah, that is like that was my show and I oh my god I wish I could be a housewife and live like in Monterey because love that little town so yeah that's kind of like the news for now then i will come back to mexico city in august so next month and do possibly puerto escondido and then finally finally do my mexico city travel guide so that's it for now guys um but yeah let's head to dinner Friday so today is the last day of this vlog so technically last night was supposed to be the last thing that I did for the vlog but um, I'm meeting up my friend Cynthia today Minty what's her Minty Sin say hi it's Peppa so I am meeting my friend Cynthia today for breakfast um, she's here for like litter I think she actually leaves today back to Dallas I haven't been able to see her that much in Dallas so I'm really happy that we get to hang out here in Mexico City and yes Peppa are you excited <laughs> she's looking for my mom she's always looking for my mom anyway um, we're gonna go to Cafe Nin which I've never been to but it looks really good and I think it's part of Lardo and Rosetta like it's part of it's all like under one what is it organization one concept i don't know what what i'm talking about anyway yeah so let's do this one last thing i hope you guys enjoy this vlog and let's go papa say bye say hi to the people say hi say hi papa Okay guys, they have this super cute view out here. I really wanted to sit out here. How precious. I think I definitely recommend sitting out here. All right guys, so my mom got the croc madame. It looks very filling, really good, but very unhealthy. I got these eggs with some kind of like sauce. Um, I'm very excited about this. We also got roll de guayaba, but we already finished that. You must get that if you go here or if you go to uh, Rosetta. They also have it. Very delicious. And we are waiting on Cynthia and Irving, but it's so cute here. Hey, friends! No nos vemos tanto en Dallas. 
Pero cuando nos vemos es en la Ciudad de México. Dude, actually, remember last time we went to Limantur? <laughs> All right, guys. Saying bye to my friends. That was an, a nice little breakfast. Yay. Love y'all. <laughs> See y'all in Dallas. Invite me. We can have another wine night. <laughs> Not for real. Cause, cause I'll tell you all my my uh, my secrets. <laughs> all my latest stories. Love stories. <laughs> all right, guys. So we finished breakfast. It was a good little breakfast. I do recommend that spot. Although it's very similar to. She's right there. It's very similar to Rosetta and Lardo. Um, I did like the aesthetics in there. It is a little bit dark though upstairs, but if you sit outside, I think it's perfect. Um, I will say that I think I like Lardo's breakfast a little bit more. Agarra, but agarra, running. All right, Papa, stop. Agarra, agarra. You sweet little baby. I'm a little baby. But yeah, guys, that's it. We are wrapping up this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it all and yeah. We'll see what we have up next. That was a week here in Mexico City. We genuinely did a lot. I feel like we did a lot, a lot. So, hope you guys check out all the spots and hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.